Hi everybody, Beach Baby Bob here. It's um, almost May the 1st. I'm in my backyard. It's kind of cloudy and a little bit cool today. It's supposed to be um, cool tomorrow and then it's supposed to get warm again like summer. But anyway, I thought I'd better share the story, The Very Quiet Cricket by Eric Carl with you today out in my backyard because it's about uh, creatures that you might see in your backyard. So it's called The Very Quiet Cricket. See if you can remember, by the end of the story, all the different creatures or characters that were in this book. So it's The Very Quiet Cricket by Eric Carl, C-A-R-L-E. One warm day, from a tiny egg, a little cricket was born. Welcome! chirped a big cricket, rubbing his wings together. The little cricket wanted to answer, so he rubbed his wings together. But nothing happened. Not a sound. Good morning, whizzed a locust, spinning through the air. The little cricket wanted to answer, so he rubbed his wings together. But nothing happened. Not a sound. Hello, whispered a praying mantis, scraping its huge front legs together. The little cricket wanted to answer, so he rubbed his wings together. But nothing happened, not a sound. Good day, crunched a worm, munching its way out of an apple. The little cricket wanted to answer, so he rubbed his wings together. But nothing happened, not a sound. Hi bubbled a spittle bug, slurping in a sea of froth. A little cricket wanted to answer, so he rubbed his wings together again, but nothing happened, not a sound. How are you, hummed a bumblebee, flying from flower to flower. The little cricket wanted to answer, so he rubbed his wings together, but nothing happened, not a sound. Good night buzzed the mosquitoes, dancing through the stars. The little cricket wanted to answer, so he rubbed his wings together, but nothing happened, not a sound. A luna moth sailed quietly through the night, and the cricket enjoyed the stillness. He chirped the most beautiful sound that she had ever heard. That's the end. So this is what happened to the worm in the story, The Very Quiet Cricket. Watch closely. So that's the story of the very quiet cricket meeting the worm coming out of the apple. See you later. So I want to introduce you to the characters or the animals that were in this story, the very quiet cricket. Now of course the baby cricket met an adult cricket, a big cricket, and the big cricket 
rubbed his wings together and he's got different sets of wings and it's the wings on the front part of his body that he rubbed together and, and he made that cricket noise. That's how he said hello. And the little guy, he tried it, didn't work. Then he met the uh, locust. A locust is like a grasshopper. And locusts, um, they can fly and they um, like to hang around by themselves. But once in a while, when the weather is really strange, you know, it's really, really dry and then it gets really, really wet, the, the grasshoppers or the locusts get together in a group and they fly and they fly for miles and they eat everything that's green in their sight and the farmers don't like them. Anyway, um, the little cricket wanted to say hello. He tried rubbing his wings together. It didn't work. Nothing happened. And then he met the praying mantis. Now, when the praying mantis, this is the, the uh, insect with the long, long neck and the funny triangular head, when the praying mantis, when the boy praying mantis meets the girl praying mantis, they fall in love and uh, as they're kissing and hugging and making a baby, the um, lady or the female praying mantis eats the male praying mantis by biting his head off first and then he eats him. She eats him. So anyway, that little cricket tried to rub his wings. It didn't work. No hello there. And then there's the worm coming out of, uh, which is not an insect. Anyway, the worm's coming out of the apple. And I've got another little story about that worm. I'll tell you that in a minute. And then there's a spittle bug. A spittle bug is an insect that uh, likes to eat green plants. And in order to protect itself from other things like birds that might eat it, it spits out of the sides of its body, makes this foamy spit. <clears throat> on the plant and then hides itself inside there while it's eating. Anyway, no noise coming from the cricket. No hello there. And then the cicada is another kind of a, a creature that hangs out in the, in the tree and makes this really, really weird screeching noise on a hot, hot summer day. Anyway, the little cricket couldn't, couldn't get a noise out of his wings, so no hello there. The bumblebee, well, a bumblebee uh, doesn't make honey, but a bumblebee um, goes from flower to flower uh, collecting nectar and pollinating the plants so that we have more and more flowers. And he does that because he can flap his wings about 130 times in a second. And he vibrates his body and he flaps his wings and all the, the pollen falls off the, the, the flowers and lands on him and he takes it away and stores it and makes new flowers. Anyway, no hello there. The dragonfly, well the dragonfly likes to uh, hang out near water and the cricket tried to say hello but it didn't work either. And dragonflies, they eat mosquitoes and they're really, really, really good insects. They eat mosquitoes. And by the way, dragonflies don't bite people. And then we've got the mosquitoes here at night time. And they're, they like to come out when it gets dark. And they like water too. So if you've got any water around your backyard, you're going to have mosquitoes. And um, the mosquitoes sometimes carry germs. And so thank heavens for the dragonfly. But no hello there. And then the luna moth. Well, a luna moth only lives. It's a big, huge moth. And it only lives for one day. And once it gets to be an adult, a big moth, it um, looks for a girl, uh, a girl to have babies with, the boy does, and uh, that all happens in one day and then it dies. But it's very beautiful and Luna means moon and it kind of um, has colors and shapes on its wings that looks like a moon. And they're very big and you probably won't see one because they only live one day. But there's there's um, this, this cricket, he's really interested in saying hello to the luna moth, so he makes his wings, um, scrapes them together, and finally makes a sound here. And by the way, only boy crickets can make a sound. And it has a lot to do with the temperature outside, too. The temperature has to be just right. So maybe that's why he couldn't do it all the way through the story, or maybe he was just not old enough. But they're saying hello. 
and crickets make three different sounds. One is hello, one is I like you, you're a girl and I'm a boy and we want to make babies together I think. So they make a different sound and then they make a sound sometimes when they're, they're fighting. The boys fight over the girls. So that's the very quiet cricket. I hope you liked it. Good afternoon, screeched the cicada, clinging to a branch of a tree. The little cricket wanted to answer. So he rubbed his wings together, but nothing happened, not a sound.